this is where um, the major businesses will be. It's happening, you can look out the window, see those buildings under construction, so it's, it's very real. What's coming in the city centre is uh, a new downtown where um, government, education, industry are coming together to create uh, a real community. It's enormous because I think the rest of Metro Vancouver has now discovered uh, the fact that this is going to be the biggest city in the province and everybody wants to come to the party now. So we certainly believe that this is the place to be uh, simply because it is happening. It's not on paper, it's actually happening right in front of our eyes. You know, the new Surrey Central will have taken shape and people will, will know it for what it is at that point. The question now is to kind of cohesively move this energy forward to create a truly exciting uh, downtown. To us, it was all about branching out and where is the hot spots going to be? And this rapid growth is only going to get increasingly greater. Uh, well, Surrey is going to be, it will be where a lot of our future population is housed. It's already one of the largest uh, urban centers in our region. What's exciting for us um, as, uh, as a company who's come into uh, basically a brand new area, a brand new town, is the possibility of actually rebuilding an old town into a absolutely fantastic uh, metro. The location for Simon Fraser University in Surrey Central uh, has the access particularly to the SkyTrain. We're right across the street from a SkyTrain station and a major bus loop is very important. Be part of a very dynamic business section which of course uh, business that uh, creates opportunities and jobs. What we see is first the dollars that are being spent in the area with the library, with the new city hall, and there's other social or civic infrastructure that's being planned. And so that's, love starts to lay the foundation, but it, even above and beyond the dollars, it's, there's a mentality amongst the council and the mayor to take a proactive approach to the development of Surrey Central. And that is something that is unique to the Lower Mainland. And it's very exciting to see this infrastructure um, coming into place. And it's also very exciting to see the speed at which the momentum is being picked up by private developers to follow on the back of the uh, infrastructure that's been created by the provincial, uh, municipal and federal governments. What we see is of the evolution of downtown Surrey is that we have a central city, we have now have government infrastructure coming in the form of the RCMP headquarters, the library, city hall, hopefully performing arts center in the near future, hospital enhancement. Uh, from there we will see more private sector investment and that will be in the form of uh, additional office uh, space, uh, new office towers, uh, and, and uh, more commercial activity which will complement all the public sector investment. Well, um, the city of Surrey, uh, the planners and the politicians are trying to do is uh, exactly the right thing. It's just an exciting place to be and they feel they're at the beginning of something transformative. I think what excites me most is the way that Surrey is building out into a, a really um, first-class city, uh, a city I would call a city of the 21st century. Well, it's really exciting uh, this time in the evolution of the city of Surrey because it's really a great opportunity for everyone to come together and really realize and create a very unique downtown core. And when we've got, uh, we've got our university, we've got our, our health authority, city hall, we've got a lot of pieces coming together that really uh, will create a very vibrant downtown core. My name is Elizabeth Modell. I am the Executive Director for the Downtown Surrey Business Improvement Association and I welcome you to Downtown Surrey, be part of our future, build with us, dream with us and grow with us.